Hello, this is Mission Earth, and I'm your captain. It's my mission to find all the best books on Earth and read them with you. So please join me, won't you? Now, before we read our book today, I want to show you something. I found a hat. Looks good on me, don't you think? And I found a book called We Found a Hat, written by John Clausen. It has two turtles, and they found a hat. To help me better understand this book, I've invited a very special guest, Teacher Phil. Hey, you found my hat. Where's your hat? The one on your head, silly. This is your hat? Yeah. But I found it. How do you know it's yours? Well, it fits my head. You, that, you should know better. That's not what they did in this book. You read it backstage. Everyone, you should see this video so you can see exactly what these two turtles do. Teacher Phil? Well, let's find out. Let's read We Found a Hat. Part 1. Finding the Hat. We found a hat. We found it together. But there is only one hat, and there are two of us. How does it look on me? It looks good on you. How does it look on me? It looks good on you, too. It looks good on both of us. But it would not be right if one of us had a hat and the other did not. There's only one thing to do. We must leave the hat here and forget that we found it. Part 2. Watching the Sunset We are watching the sunset. We are watching it together. What are you thinking about? I am thinking about the sunset. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Part 3. Going to sleep. We are going to sleep. We are going to sleep here together. Are you almost asleep? I am almost asleep. Are you all the way asleep? I am all the way asleep. I am dreaming a dream. What are you dreaming about? I will tell you what I am dreaming about. I am dreaming that I have a hat. It looks very good on me. You are also there. You also have a hat. It looks very good on you too. We both have hats? The end. Wow, what an incredible story. And you read it so well, Teacher Phil. But I'm wondering, where are they? I think they're in a desert. How do you know? Well, I remember seeing a cactus mm -hmm. and some rocks and some sand. Oh, I saw those too. I think you're right. But I'm also wondering, one of the turtles has a dream yeah. that they both have a hat. 
Why does he dream that they both have a hat? I think he's dreaming that they both have a hat because he wants both of them to be happy. Yeah, could be, could be. And I have one more question. One of the turtles, he really wants the hat, but he doesn't take it at last. Yeah. Why doesn't he take that hat? I think it's because he found out his friend was thinking about the both of them and he was only thinking about himself, so he felt selfish. Sure, that would be very selfish. Now, this is a great book, mm -hmm. but I want to know about you, Teacher Phil. What do you dream about? Well, sometimes I have nightmares, but sometimes I have good dreams. Uh, I dream about my friends and family uh, being happy, us going on vacation. Wow, what good dreams. And let's say, for example, you found something that you really like, mm -hmm. but I really like it too. Mm. What would you do? That is a good question. Um, well, take this hat, for example. Okay. Well, it's my hat. Yes. And I like it. That's true. But I should use it first because it's mine. But I would like to borrow it. Yes, that's fair. You can borrow it. Thank you, Phil. But because you let me borrow your hat, mm -hmm. I will let you borrow something of mine. Oh, great. You can have my sock. Thanks. You're welcome. Teacher Phil, everybody. Well, kids, I learned something today. Sharing is caring, and I care about Teacher Phil. So I shared my sock, just like he shared his hat. I hope he doesn't find his hat. <sighs> well, tune in next time for more stories brought to life.